sparks flying. Like all of us had so many incredible ideas. Like I just wanted to sit back and like take in everything they had to say. An experience of a lifetime for these two local students on a mission to fight climate change. The two recently had a chance to work with the global fashion magazine, maybe you've heard of it, Vogue uh, on a climate campaign. I think I know that one. ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Paz joins us in the studio right now. Vanessa, being in Vogue is cool, but it wasn't even the coolest part of this experience. Exactly, that's surprising, right? A little shocking. Well, if this doesn't get you excited about climate change, I'm not sure what will. Two Francis Parker students have spent most of their high school years helping fight the climate crisis, and their efforts got the attention of a world-renowned magazine and an Academy Award and Grammy-winning pop star. Transparency. On the outside, Ryan Berberet and Sydney Cronin look like your average high school students at Francis Parker and Linda Fista. Yeah, well, probably to resolve tensions. But on the inside, since the ninth grade, they've been fighting a decades long issue climate change. I did some more research, and then I think one point that really like blew my mind was hearing that BP, a big oil um, producer, they coined the term carbon footprint in order to blame the consumer for the problems. And I was like, what? I just, that made me so mad. Sydney on the right said her advocacy started around the same time when social media put the spotlight on environmental activist Greta Thunberg. I was very compelled by everything she was saying, and that's kind of what launched my deep care for the issue. When words and reposts felt inadequate, action felt like the only option. They joined the school's Green Eco Club and enrolled that group in the National Youth Nonprofit Action for Climate Emergency, also known as ACE. One of the campaigns that we were involved in was the Now or Never campaign, which is to pressure Governor Newsom and President Biden to declare a climate emergency via executive order. They've also organized climate strikes, created social media calls to action, and created the Youth versus Oil Group, meeting and urging local legislators to stop oil drilling and gas permits in California. Ambitious goals that got big attention. And then I get a text from our mentor at ACE just saying, hey, Vogue reached out and um, would like to interview you. Can I send them your contact information? I was, I, first I thought somebody like hacked into their phone. I was like, what? Vogue. Ryan and Sydney were offered to be featured in a climate campaign with other young activists who shared the same passion, same urge for change. Among them, the woman who spearheaded the campaign and a pop superstar you may have heard of, Billie Eilish. She is using her fame to make a change because people will actually listen to her because she has a platform. So I think just using her platform is so inspiring. An experience the students say lasted a day, but its impact a lifetime. Hearing all of their stories really just inspired us and reminded us why we do all this work. We all are scared. We all have that fear billing in our chest whenever we think of the climate crisis. And what we need to do is instead of pushing that down and thinking about it less and being like, that makes me sad, I'm not going to think about it. We need to embrace that and turn it into action. So much action at a young age, you can just imagine the difference they'll make in the years to come. And if we can include information about the climate crisis so people can really internalize it and care, then later when our peers go on to be scientists, CEOs, artists, whatever they end up doing, they will always be thinking about that at the back of their mind and be able to make conscious informed decisions. Ooh, such a powerful duo there. All right, well, you can find the link to the entire video campaign. Just head to our website, teddies.com. And as I mentioned, this is just the start for this inspiring duo. Their latest project actually involves a workshop that creates a simulation for toxic waste and its real life impacts on local communities right here in San Diego, including Barrio Logan. So kinds of kind of makes you think, what was I doing at right? that age? Man, Always. so inspiring. I love how on the one hand, they're so poised and well-spoken mm -hmm. and goal-oriented, right. but on the other hand, they also get to just be teenagers and be giddy about the fact that yeah. <laughs> Billie Eilish yeah. and Vogue. <laughs> they actually said they spent, I want to say, over an hour just staring at each other in FaceTime in shock <laughs> of the call they received about Vogue and Billie Eilish and just the experience they were about oh. to endure. So how wonderful. Yeah, yeah. inspiring. Love yeah. It. I'm glad that you did that story, especially right. with, you know, I love that the fact that she said, don't just push it down. We right. have to be doing something mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, and we all need to be doing our part. And it's nice to see the young generation really taking that to heart.